Hello mga ka-wisdom. Welcome to Wisdom is Power Channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like, mag-comment, at i-share ang video ito. Click mo na rin ang notification bell to receive more wisdom videos na katulad nito. Salamat! Ngayon pag-uusapan natin about reactance diagram. Reactance diagram is a simplified equivalent circuit of a single line diagram using the per unit system. Kung meron tayong single line diagram sa electrical uh, plan natin, ginagamitan natin ang uh, ating single line diagram ng per unit method para masimplify yung single line diagram para may convert natin ng reactance diagram. In the reactance diagram, all elements are represented in terms of reactance only. No resistance element exists in the system. So yung ating single line diagram, kung i-convert natin ng reactance diagram, reactance lang talaga ang makikita nating symbol at uh, ini-ignore na natin yung resistance element sa system. So, tandaan natin na ang mga electrical symbols na ginagamit sa power system, katulad ng generators, transformers, transmission line, circuit breakers, delta connection, Y connection, motors, and bus. So, let us consider the single line diagram of a power system. So, sa single line diagram na ito, meron tayong makikita ang tatlong generators. Meron tayong dalawang transformers, yung T sub 1 at T sub 2 natin. Meron tayong transmission line. Meron tayong mga loads, load A and load B. At yung ating mga circuit breakers and also the bus. So yung single line diagram natin na composed of generator, transformer, lines, and motors, mga load ay eh, pwede natin i-convert sa reactance diagram. No, as mapapansin natin, ang ating symbol na ginagamit dito ay mga reactance. So, tandaan natin na yung per unit natin ay ang equation natin ginagamit is the actual value divided by the base value. So, kung ito ay Ang numerator natin ay actual at ang denominator natin ay base. So madali lang siyang tandaan. Actual divided by base. So halimbawa, per unit current, so ang ating numerator ay actual current divided by by base current. So ganun din, laging actual over base. So halimbawa naman ay per unit voltage that will be actual voltage divided by base voltage. Kung per unit impedance, that will become actual impedance divided by base impedance. So meron din tayong equation for base current is equals to base voltage divided by base impedance. So para lang siyang simpleng ohms law. No? So kung isasob naman natin yung base impedance, that will be equals to base voltage divided by the base current. So if per unit current is equals to actual current divided by base current, at yung equation ng base current natin is equals to base voltage divided by base impedance, so yung base current natin at saka yung base current natin dito ay isa lamang, Ibig sabihin, yung base current natin ng equation ay base voltage over base impedance, pwede nating isubstitute dun sa ating uh, per unit current. So, yung per unit current natin, which is uh, actual current divided by the base current, so yung base current na papalta natin ng base voltage divided by base impedance. So, mangyayari nito sa per unit current, that will be equals to actual current multiplied by base impedance 
all over base voltage. We also, base impedance can be computed as the base impedance is equals to the square of base voltage divided by the base power. So para lamang siyang P is equals to V squared over R, if we want to get the value of the resistance, that will be equals to V squared over power. So alam natin na yung S natin ay apparent power. So parang simpleng power formula lang. So sa halip na true power ang gamitin natin, ang ginagamit natin ay base uh, apparent power or the KBA power. And the per unit impedance is uh, equals to actual uh, impedance divided by base impedance. So since ang base impedance natin ay may equation na base uh, the square of base voltage divided by the base power, so ibig sabihin, pwede natin i-substitute yung ating base impedance dun sa ating uh, denominator. So that will become the per unit impedance is equals to actual impedance multiplied by the base power all over the square of the base voltage. Ganun din yung ating base current is equals to base power divided by base voltage. So para lang simple siyang power formula. So to convert uh, the single line diagram to reactance diagram, first step is to identify the old and new base values of the apparent power and the voltages. The second step is to solve the per unit value of each component, kung ilan mang component yon, Halimbawa, dalawang generators, tatlong transformers. So lahat yun ay isosolve natin ang per unit value ng each equipment or component. Then we will draw the reactance diagram using the per unit values of the respective components na na-compute natin. So to change the base values, the following expression is used. The new per unit impedance is equals to old per unit impedance multiplied by the new base power divided by old base power multiplied by the square of the old base voltage divided by the new base voltage. So this will be our equation para makuha natin yung new per unit impedance. So let's have practice problem number one. The reactance of 500 MBA 18 kilovolt generator is given as 0 0.25 per unit based on its nameplate. Find the new per unit impedance using new bases of 20 kb and 100 MBA. So let us write first all the given. So with the we have old base power, which is equal to 500 MBA. We have also the old base voltage, which is 18 kilovolts. The, the old per unit impedance is equal to 0 0.25. The new base voltage is equal to 20 kb. And the new base power is equal to 100 MBA. So we are us to solve for the new per unit impedance. So using our equation, we will now get the new per unit impedance. All we have to do is to substitute all the values given to our uh, equation. Then solving for the new per unit impedance, we will get J0.0405 per unit. So this is our answer for practice problem number one. For practice problem number two, a 400 volts 5 kBA load has a 20% per unit impedance of with its own rating as the base. It is to be placed in a system with a base of 10 kBA and 800 volts. Calculate the new per unit impedance in the new system. So again, Let's write all the given values. 
we have the old base voltage, which is equals to 400 volt. The old base power is equals to 5 kVA. The old impedance, which is 20%, which is equals to 0 0.2. And the new base power is 10 kVA. The new base voltage is equals to 800 volts. So we are asked to solve for the new per unit impedance. And again, using our equation, we will just substitute all the given values to our equation, and then we will get the value of the new per unit impedance, which is equals to J0.1 per unit. Practice problem number three, draw the per unit diagram for the power system shown below. Use 100 MBA and 220 kilovolt as base values in 50 ohms line. The rating of the generator, motor, and transformers are given. So we have here generator uh, rating I 40 MBA, 25 KB. The reactance is equal to 20%. Transformer one, 40 MBA. 33 kb by 220 kb reactance is equal to 15 percent transformer 2 that is 30 mba 220 by 11 kb the reactance is equal to 15 percent and the motors have 50 mba 11 kb and the reactance is equal to 30 percent so step number one natin so solve natin lahat ng ating component yung kanilang per unit values. So we will start with the generator. So solving for the new per unit impedance of the generator. So let us write all the given value first. The old per unit impedance is equals to 20%. And the new base power is equals to 100 MBA. The old base power is equals to 40 MBA as uh, stated in the nameplate of the generator. The old base voltage is equals to 25 KB. And the new base voltage is equals to 33 KB. Dahil papasok siya doon sa, as ang um, output niya is 33 KB, which is papunta doon sa primary side ng ating transformer. One. So using the equation, we will just substitute all the given values. That will be 0 0.2 multiplied by 100 over 40 multiplied by the square of 25 divided by 33. And we will get the new per unit impedance is equals to J0.287 per unit. Now let's go to the per unit value for the transformer one. So again, we will write all the given. The old impedance is equal to 0 0.15. The new base power is 100 MBA. The old base power is 40 MBA. The old base voltage is 33 KB. Then we don't know the new base voltage. So we have to solve for the new base voltage first. So using the equation to get the new base voltage of the transformer, the high tension side base KB multiplied by the low tension side rating divided by the high tension, tension side rating. So in the high tension side, our base KB is 220 KB multiply by the 33 KB all of, over 220 KB. Then we will cancel the 220 and we will get the new base voltage of the transformer as 33 KB. Then now all the givens are complete. Then we can substitute these values to our equation to get the new per unit impedance. And we will get J is equals to uh, the new per unit impedance is equals to J0.375 per unit. 
Now for the transmission line, the actual impedance is equals to J 50 ohms. The base power is still 100 MBA. The base voltage is equals to 220 kilovolts. So using our equation for the per unit impedance, we will just substitute all the given values. Then the new per unit impedance for the transmission line is equals to J0.103 per unit. For the transformer two, the old impedance is equals to 0 0.15. The new base power is equals to 100 MBA. The old base power is 30 MBA. The old base voltage is 11 kV. That is the old base voltage. The new base voltage for the transformer 2 is still unknown. So using our equation, again, the new base voltage is equals to high tension side base KB multiplied by the low tension side rating over the high tension side rating. Then that will be equals to 220 KB multiplied by 11 KB over 220 KB. Makakancel yung dalon 220 KB. Then the new base voltage of the generator to, uh, I mean the transformer to is 11 KB. So again, substitute this value, all this value to our equation. And then we will get the new per unit impedance that is equals to J0.5 per unit. Now for the motors, so again, we will write all the given values for the motors that is equals to 0 0.3, the impedance, the new base voltage, uh, the new base power is equals to 100 MBA. The old base power is 50 MBA. The old base voltage is 11 KB. And also the new base voltage is also 11 KB. So using this, uh, given values, we will just substitute our equation so that the new per unit impedance is equal to J0.6 per unit. So now we have all the computed all the per unit values for the generator that is equal to J0.287 per unit. For transformer one, that is J0.375 per unit. For the transmission line, that is J0.103 per unit. For transformer two, that is J0.5 per unit. And for the motors, that is equals to J0.6 per unit. Now we have all the per unit values for each component. Then we can draw the reactance diagram as shown. So we will just write all the given, uh, the computed value for the the new the per new per unit impedance of each component. So for transformer one, for the transmission line, for the transformer two, and for the motors. So that's all mga kawisdom. Again, kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like, mag-comment, at i-share ang video ito. Click mo na rin ang notification bell to receive more wisdom videos na katulad nito. Salamat at kita-kits sa next Wisdom video.